put the miss on. All right. Good morning, and welcome to today's hearing. Uh, my name is Andrew Cohen, and I am the chair of the State and Federal Legislation Committee. On today's agenda, we will be considering four state legislative res resolutions. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce the committee members who are here, Council Member Rafael Espinal and Councilwoman Karen Kozlowitz. Uh, I'm gonna turn the page onto this side. Uh, the first state legislative resolution this committee will be considering and voting on today is Senate Bill S7780 and Assembly Bill A9943. Uh, this bill is an act relating to granting retroactive eligibility to apply for enhanced Tier 3 status to the family of former New York City Police Officer Mark Rivera, who died of a heart attack on March 21st, 2015 at the age of 37. Uh, just for everybody's uh, clarification, uh, this is we uh, allowed other people to apply for these benefits last year uh, because uh, Officer Rivera died before we passed that bill. We're going to pass this bill to write that. Uh, the second state legislative resolution is Senate Bill S8497 and Assembly Bill 10696, an act to amend the retirement and social security law in relation to the definition of additional member contributions and basic member contributions for certain New York City employees, retirement system members who are subject to certain retirement plans under articles 14 and 15 of the retirement and social security law. To allow such additional member contributions to be used to offset a deficit of basic member contributions or to allow an excess of basic con member contributions to, to offset a deficit of additional member contributions upon retirement. The third state legislative resolution this committee will be considering and voting on today is Senate Bill S8941 and Assembly Bill uh, 11123, uh, which would amend the real property tax law by adjusting the State Board of Real Property Services class equalization rule for one year only to cap the maximum class growth at half a percent uh, for New York City. This formula is used to determine the tax rates for each of the four property classes. The effect of this change would be to reduce the amount by which the current base proportions for any class, including classes one, two, and three family homes, is allowed to grow, resulting in citywide savings of about $272, $272 for a typical owner of a class one single family home. If it does not pass, the council must adopt the default SBRPS formula and tax rates for class one residential homes, which would rise to 7%. Uh, the final bill is Senate Bill S6044C and Assembly Bill A7798C. This bill seeks to amend the vehicle and traffic law in relation to expanding the school speed safety program by increasing the cap to 290 schools from the current cap of 140 schools. The purpose of this, of the expansion, is to cover more children and increase uh, safety. Uh, at this moment, I would like to open the hearing to any of our committee members who want to make a statement. Going once, going twice. Uh, I didn't, do we have any, uh, is anybody gonna testify? Also going once, going twice? All right. I'm going to, I uh, guess, ask the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on state and federal legislation. All items are coupled. Chair Cohen. Uh, I vote aye. Espinal. I vote aye. Kozlowitz. I vote aye. Rodriguez. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. I think we're going to ask the clerk to keep the, the record open. Okay. We'll keep it open for 30 minutes. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody.